So I've got myself a little bit of an ongoing issue. You see, this is my iPhone 11 here, and you can clearly see that the entire back of the phone is completely shattered. But not only that, my iPhone 12, you can see, is even more shattered, and we've got pieces missing, and we've got a decent crack down on the front screen as well. But luckily, so far, my iPhone 14 is in pristine condition. So far. And I say so far because it's probably inevitable for me, but not for long. Because what is more protective than a suitcase? You trust it when you're traveling, so I'm gonna trust it on my iPhone. This is not the first time I built an absurd case from my iPhone. Cause you see, last year I built myself a candy dispensing iPhone case. All you had to do was put candy into this one side, pull down the lever, and it shot candy high up into the air. And this all came about because I was sitting in that window over there and my iPhone fell out of my pocket and shattered on the sidewalk down below. And somebody took notice of that and sent me a little package. So let's give a big ol' thank you to Casetify for sponsoring this video. Now let's find out what's inside of here. Oh my God, it's got my name on it. They sent me an iPhone case with my name on it. So we've got that one. We've got another iPhone case here. This one's pretty cool looking. Ooh, we got a psychedelic looking case here. And of course, the screen protector, so I can save that front screen as well. And we got ourselves a sling. Well, okay then. <laughs> Now my phone should be fully protected on the back and the front, but of course, that's not enough for me. Cause I'm going to New York City in two days to celebrate Thanksgiving, and I'm going on an airplane, and I want a suitcase for this whole contraption, so it absolutely does not break. And you might actually remember, let's see, where is it? I did make a super small iPhone suitcase back in the day, but this thing did not stand up to the test of time. I mean, for one, I'm just like 10 times better designer than I am today than I was back then. Cause look, the hinge barely stays closed. The wheels are already broken and they didn't really work that well anyway. The handle doesn't stay closed whatsoever. And on the inside, there's no real organization or additional accessories. And that's what we're gonna do for version 2.0. It's, it's just gonna have brand new everything. It's gonna be so much better. Let's, let's get to work. You know what they always say, good artists copy, but great artists steal. And that is exactly what we are doing on this project for the design. Because this is Casetify's brand new bounce case. And they had a whole bunch of people researching and doing design to make this thing the best case they've ever made. So why not just take some of the best features from this and put it into our design. Like on the corners here, we've got the EcoShock technology and that's gonna protect it from any falls. So over on the suitcase itself, I added similar protection to the top corners for any dings and bangs. They told me I could drop my phone up to 21 feet with this case on and it won't break. So maybe we'll have to test that out later. But I also took their signature X pattern design here and I incorporated that into the top shell of the suitcase. And I think it gives it a really cool look. The case is also MagSafe compatible so I can take an Apple power bank and attach it to there. So we're building this into the case itself and having a perfect little compartment for it. Also on the other side, there's gonna be a section to put an Apple AirTag so I do not lose my suitcase, a compartment for my AirPods, as well as one for a charging brick and to wrap a charging cable around. Plus everything else got a huge upgrade from the wheels we're going from four to eight. We're gonna have a nice cushiony handle that will lock right into place and everything is just gonna be so much better. And if you guys wanna check out the technology for yourself, it's Black Friday, baby. So Caseify has their biggest sale of the year. Go check out this link down below and you can get some amazing deals on some awesome tech accessories for your phone. Cause I'm gonna be rocking this thing nonstop. Also, I have a new printer in the studio that can print multiple colors at once. So this thing is going to be looking so good. Let the time-lapse printing begin. Okay, wait, cut the soothing electronic music. I wanna put this to the test and see if anything will actually break. Okay, let's see how that did. No cracks, no breaks, but I don't think that was good enough.
That should be good enough. Let's see how it's holding up. I don't know, there's no scratches, no dings, and no cracks on the screen. So now I think it's time we can cue back up the soothing electronic music. This has got to be my new favorite printer. Just look. This is just one print. Look at all those different colors. It looks so amazingly good. I know that I typically don't do like full reviews on 3D printers. I just showcase how I use them here in the studio. But let me know if you want me to do a full 3D printer review down in the comments. Maybe I'll start with this Bamboo Lab X1 with all of these different colors. They look so good. But this isn't the only part that we have printed. We have the whole suitcase to put together now. That's right, let's see. We've got the top X pattern design. That's looking pretty good. We have my own EcoShock technology here, and I printed it in TPU filament, so look how nice and flexible that is. So hopefully this will protect my phone even more. I also printed the wheels in the same TPU material so that they have nice cushioning when they're rolling on the ground. And then the top compartment that is gonna house all of our other Apple accessories for our trip. Oh, I can't wait to see this thing assembled. So let's get to work. last piece I need for this invention to be complete. Okay, I can't hide it anymore. It looks just so good. Introducing the extraordinarily beefier eye suitcase. So much beefier. But I think the inside might be my favorite part. I mean, look at all of those details. Just look at the wheels. Look how nicely they spin. And the TPU handle is nice and squishy, so I will never have an uncomfortable experience. But let's go check out all of the details. So just like on the case by case, we have our very own EcoShock technology to keep everything safe just in case anything hits the corners. And we've got the classic X design here on the lid. And then when you open it up is when we review all of the goodies. So just like we talked about it having MagSafe here, I just have to take my MagSafe power bank and slide it right into place here. I also added a little finger hole here so you can easily pop it out when you don't want it inside the suitcase. And it's designed to perfectly fit the case in there so we slide that in there and now it starts charging. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the other side for all the other fun stuff. So still using magnets, we can go ahead and take the air tag and stick that right in there so that we never lose it. And there's another MagSafe puck so I can snap my AirPods Pro in there. Then we can snap our USB-C charging brick right there. And lastly, wrap up our lightning cable around this here. <laughs> there it is, fully stocked and ready to go. Oh yeah, I also added in magnets here so that when it closes, it snaps right into place. I don't know about you guys, I'm getting like a Louis Vuitton luggage vibe from this thing. This thing is fancy. Oh yeah, we can't forget about the extending rod so that I can actually use it while I'm walking around the airport. Okay, we'll grab onto it here and start carting it around. First impressions is that it is super smooth. Would you do a double take if you saw someone walking by like this? I dig it. I think this is definitely some of my best work here. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna be late for my flight, so I gotta get this stuff packed up and ready to go. I'm just going for a quick trip, so I have just my carry-on backpack and my iPhone luggage. Except, you know what? I just realized that my ticket only includes one carry-on item. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my phone because I think my new case to buy case is gonna be just fine for my trip to New York City. I'm gonna leave the luggage at home. If you guys wanna see it in a future video, comment down below where I should fly to with my luggage. But don't forget that Caseify is having their biggest sale ever. Use my link down in the description to get some awesome tech accessories at an awesome price. And with that, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya!